It's the Daily Special with Kimberly Brown Miller! Welcome to the Daily Special. Today is Wednesday, April 23rd, and I went to a costume shop that was for naughty things. And I learned a lot. I learned a lot about men. Let's check it out. Well, ladies, if you thought that objectification only went your way, men, don't worry. You can put on red rubber bike shorts. When you tell them to put a rubber on, what you mean is rubber shorts. They're not hard to take off in a moment of excruciating pleasure. Not that I know what that is. Just talking about things I've seen on cable. Now I'm depressed. Well, I'm going to learn even more about men later on in the show, but for now, let's go to today's specials. <laughs> Hillary Clinton wiped the floor with Barack Obama in yesterday's Pennsylvania Democratic primary. When asked to comment, she said, hoes before bros. Yeah. yeah. Danica Patrick proved again that women are awesome. She's the first woman to ever win an Indy car race, which isn't surprising. Most yeah. of the men were late because they were lost and refused to ask for directions. <laughs> and the rumors that Ashley Simpson and Pete Weiss are pregnant are still abounding, although the couple denies it. Pete is a part of the band Fallout Boy. Pete, you should have pulled out, boy. <laughs> Well, now that you've seen my fetish for rubber pants, it's time to learn a little bit about what men really like, which I have no idea about. So we have comedian John Neffel here to tell us what women should know about men. Hey, John! How are you? Thanks for having me on. Thank you for teaching me about men. What are the things I should know? I'm really bad at men. Oh, uh, well, I, I, I brought a, a quick list with me. Do you like to, to I love, hear some of them? I love organizational skills. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Well, I think the first thing you should know about men is that when a guy farts in your presence, it's a sign of deep respect. Yeah. That's friendly. Okay. The next one. The next one. <laughs> uh, this one is very important. Uh, if we say, yeah, I've got a little weed left at my place, we are 100% trying to sleep with you. The books on your bookshelf mean more to us than you think. Ooh. Right? Right? So what books should I have? Any erotica splashed around mm. to bring it back to the... To the sex. To the sex. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see here. There is... Oh, uh, we think a girl in a v-neck t-shirt uh, with no bra and threadbare sweatpants and like kind of like post-sex messed up hair is really hot. That's really surprising. Yeah, nice no, surprising. it's uh, you don't need makeup and fancy stuff and everything. Or Just pants that are clean. Wow, that is a lot of information about man. And um, but I have to say, I, I really see the difference now up between women and men. And I feel like you know, women when a guy farts is not feeling like, oh God, he really loves me and is comfortable around me. They're thinking, wow, he had a hot dog. Books. Books are great. And, you know, I'm so excited when I see that a guy actually knows how to read that, you know, I don't even care what's on the bookshelf. I don't want to know that you are into X style of porn, so hide that, gentlemen. Hide it. Hide it. Put out things like um, Pride and Prejudice. I'll be really impressed. All right. Well, now you know how I'm thinking, which is very opposite from the way you're thinking. Is there any middle ground? Can we ever compromise? I'll say for men that we will live with Jane Austen if you will live with a little bit of hot dog aftermath here and there. Hot dog fart and Jane Austen. Ladies, <laughs> there you go. That's the perfect compromise. Have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow. Yeah.